Yes, we are all storytellers, right, in one way or the other. And some of us are better with words, while the others' pictures tell a better story. Now, for our next guest, films and photography have become one of the best tools to tell the world just how he views the world and its surroundings. Offense Mwase grew up in Rustenburg, and it was his infatuation with video games, films, and cameras that made him a household name in the South African film landscape. The cinematographer and director has directed some of the country's most popular music videos and films, more recently, Jub Jub's Kikupa Tuarello music video. Now, the award-winning youngster joins us now as we continue to profile outstanding creatives during the month of June. Baba, a very good morning and a w welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Yeah, and first pleasure. of all, congratulations are in order for begging that summer for best music video. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, that was uh, actually very exciting. Uh, I can imagine. Like, you know, a summer is a big thing when it comes to music, so I'm very happy to have that honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah indeed. Now, take us back to the first film that you watched and what was it about this film, you know, that aged in your brain? Okay. Um, the first film that we worked on was The Haji. That was back in 2011. It was actually my honors film. So, yeah, it literally, um, it, we, we, we love doing films that talk, you know, about the person. So, uh, The Haji is basically about uh, a guy who's looking for forgiveness mm -hmm. because his father is his brother, his younger brother, kind of <laughs> fell in love with his girlfriend so mm. yeah we were just tickling the you know the the back and forth between them and just exploring you know just the human mind and how it takes situations like that i'm particularly interested in the latest film that you released the hangman which yes. is a, a struggle between father and son take yes. us through that again it's it's a similar thing so yeah, yeah the hangman was uh like we we, pr we premiered it on the second of february it's been incredible like everyone has been loving it everyone who watched it really enjoyed the story so we were very happy to work on like a project like that and i feel that um, as we keep pushing it so forth, uh, people must just you know come and support us as we screening and enjoy mm. the film. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool story about uh, it's set in the apartheid era, where uh, you know a son is working in like a prison system where they actually put people on death row. So one of the days when he's there his actual father comes yeah. and he's the one who's going to be on death row. So we explain what actually happened for him to leave when he was younger. So whoa, yeah, that's basically whoa, what the story whoa, is about. Whoa, yeah. Interesting stuff there. Yeah. Now, Offensa, tell me, at what point did you discover that, uh, you know what, film uh, and cameras is my life, it's my calling? Yeah, uh, pretty much how it happened is that my brother, my older brother was doing music back in like 2002, 2003. Mm -hmm. He had a camera, like a 3CCD camera, a PD-170. At yeah. the time, it was like the best camera around then. So yeah. what happened is that he wasn't using it. So I took it and then I started like, you know, shooting stuff with it. I shot like, I started with like a church service and then I started doing weddings. And then uh, back in 2007, I wasn't studying at the time. So uh, my sister, that they were actually pushed me to actually go to school, you know. Then I went to Avda, and then from there mm -hmm. it sprouted everything that's happening now. And what can you point out as uh, some of the highlights in this journey that you embarked on? Yeah, uh, literally at Avda, I think uh, pretty much I'm like the first black person to ever win like best cinematography Get out of in third year. Yeah, so that is one of my biggest. That was like literally my first biggest achievement uh -huh. in like this filming career. And then other than that, uh, in fourth year, we did some commercials and then we got a silver lurry for that commercial as well. So, yeah, that was another big thing. And then uh, the, the recent ones is like 2014, a music video for Lundi got best crown gospel music video as well. Mm -hmm. And then MT, who's actually here in 2016, we got a best metro uh, music video for that as well. So, yeah, it's been, it's been quite an incredible journey. Very incredible indeed. I must yeah. agree with you. Now, how do you, like in the world of film, commercials yeah. and music videos, how do you marry all those into each other? And yeah. do you, at, uh, at a particular point in life, find yourself having to choose one over the other? Uh, yeah, the way I'm set up right now, I would say, is that I'm trying to do as much as I can in mm. the film industry. And then most of the time, if you look at most of my work, all I want to do is like, you know, uh, tell stories. So even with my music videos, if you look at them, most of them have stories. Like there's usually sure, sure. a problem that we, we present at the beginning and then at the end we resolve it sure. or in a sense. So, yeah, I'm pretty much, I love storytelling and mm. that's 
exactly what I want to do with all my, my work. And yeah, I just want to be a storyteller and have people enjoy our stories. Yeah. Sure, sure thing. Now, uh, just as a final word, you are the country's, one of the country's most sought after directors. And what yes. do you attribute to your success to? Uh, I would say hard work, dedication, uh, teamwork. Like um, right now, uh, uh, we're running a company. It's called OM Films. Mm -hmm. I work with my wife, Nelisi mm -hmm. Um She's like doing a lot of our meetings stuff right now as well. Mm -hmm. You can check it out. Uh, pretty much what we do is we just try to, you know, work with mm -hmm. as many people as possible, collaborate, and then just come out with incredible projects. Like if you uh, look right now, we're running a competition. It's called... Uh, OM Films, who's next? Mm -hmm. Like what we do is we we actually trying to push like undiscovered talent. We literally mm -hmm. find undiscovered people. We we listen to their music, pick the music that we want, and then we shoot a video for them sponsored by us. So pretty much what we want to you know put out there is just you know a spirit of just working together with sure. people. And I think it's coming through with our work. Okay. No, Chief, we really yeah. love your work, eh? And, and you all much. the best. Yes, thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, as we continue to celebrate young people who are doing amazing things in the creative space during the month of June, award-winning cinematographer, photographer, and director of fences, Scrooge Mwase, is the brains behind some of the country's mainstream music videos. More recently, Jub Jub's Kiko Patuarelo.